Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Director Kim. I hope you're doing good. I hope you do okay. Yeah, it's been war. Don't worry about my, you know, my appearance. Yeah, man. I... Okay, today we're going to discuss about cinematic feelings. What is cinematic feelings? The feelings about cinematic. What should that? What what we should do? Where why why the thing we do to make a cinematic color grading? And yeah, I'm about to show you on the screen. We have a song footage to our screen right over there. I'm going to make my FPE note. I know we'll do a color space. Yeah, I decide not to do color space. This is my first thing to do to get the cinematic feeling. Another thing is uh way i control my exposure often it's cinematic where where we control exposure we don't have a super super mad block pictures so i'm going to increase my shadow all the way over and doing this very nice slightly escape and this is how cinematic uh construction the way it's get done so another thing is where we do our saturations where we saturate our picture the cinematic feelings where we saturate our picture first we're using color boost so i'm going to use color boost to vibrance my picture and then i'm going to uh, maybe increase my saturation a very slightly you not know, too much somewhere around here yeah. I don't want this to be too much. Sometimes I can even reduce the saturations of a picture and increase a color boost to make a perfect saturations. You can do this way. It's go work very nice. All right. Another thing is temperature. Where we control temperature is we reducing temperature from this spot or you can use HDR, whatever. About temperature, I'm not going to tell you about the temperature because you know about that already. You see now the picture is looking neutral, so I'm going to make this white balanced. I know, and then this is my three hero notes. So let's see before. And after where we just did our exposure control. All right. Another thing to get cinematic look is just to play around with my will, which is I'm going to make a look DNA nod, which is I'm going to play with my lift, drag into my shadow to my green and then pull my real a little bit of my gamma and increase my my gain to warm sides and my left to blue side to get nice separations so i'm going before and after you see here to my shadow it looks uh darkish and this is what i want Okay, let me do it again. Somewhere around there. Now it looks so cinematic. You see now the before. See before and after. See, this is how we do a uh, cinematic. Uh, this is how the cinematic color grading. I'm going a little bit faster because I'm learning out of time. So next thing is just my skin tone. So is it because I shot on uh, a bit Sony a bit so I don't have to play with qualification. So I'm going to select this skin and you know play around with it until I get a nice tone. So I'm going to pray with my, my red stuff yeah, somewhere around there. Now it's looking good. 
so i'm going to do a deep saturation which is very dense the saturations so i'm going to hsv i know you guys know about it i explain a lot about hsv stuff like that yeah so what i'm going to do i'm going to increase the saturation very vaguely slightly somewhere around here looking good so i'm going to add another saturate uh, another node which is i'm going to control my curve I'm going to reduce a little bit controlling that and then i'm going to my uvs uh pray with my my blush to be here somewhere on that this is boom okay another thing i'm going to do is just using a pop to give a detail a pop which is construct pop which i'm going to increase uh detail amounts all the way over to get the details and then i'm going to reduce it somewhere on here again i'm going to reduce my low threshold and my highlights a bit I'm only going to affect the middle, then I'm going to reduce it somewhere around here. So now let's see before and after. It's a very, very detailful. So yeah, I think around here looking. But let me do a bit too much because I just want very that cinematic stuff, you know, like very cinema. Alright. I think I'm done over there. So another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to play out of color space, which is I'm going to play with the halation, which is halation. Uh, you know about this plug. It's available on Davinci Resolve. It's a flip plug, so you don't have to, you know, Okay, I'm going to play with this till I start to see my pictures. This is the threshold of our uh, lessons. It's very hard to use this, but you can practice. So I'm going to redo the saturation so I don't want to affect the saturation, the reflections, and gamma stuff like that, the spread. Like this, I'm going to do somewhere on that. Now looking, you see if you, if you watch careful to this spot, you see the there is a, a line in there. So yeah, that's what I'm focused. It's give me um, uh, it can give me uh, uh, it can give me uh, what? It can give me uh, you see if you watch careful right here, you see the glowing stuff can give me the glowing stuff so this is what i want so i'm going to reduce the strength i just i don't want to too much and also about grains let me do some grains you know to get cinematic look we need grains and this is how i'm praying with that as you see before before and after see before you see there is if you can see the grains before and after it's very grainy and this is what I wanted all right so before this one I'm gonna make a node which is for sharpening this picture but we have so much noise so I'm going to use noise reductions to reduce uh, unwanted noise so that I, I just want a fill noise not that you know okay another thing that I want to do you see uh, let me bypass this you see around here uh, the, the parts that give me uh, the parts that give me uh, so much detail what i want to do is just i want to i want to use a pen tool 
because I only want uh, I only want him to be uh, sharp. I, I just want a detail, so much detail to him, and not the background. So I want the backgrounds to be a bit blur. But him, he has to have a lot of you know a lot of detail. So now you see how it look. This is before. And this is after because you can see the background is a little bit blown but him he's got a lot of details so i'm going to further this because i don't want this to be you know i want i don't want to get the line between so we're going to further this so even if i'm going to switch it you can see it's very smoothly you know it's very slight this is how we got cinematic but in cinematic we don't have super super highlights so i'm going to my first node then i'm going to reduce my i'm going to reduce my what exposure i want it to be around something like this part i don't want this to be too much see now this looks pretty top thanks very much for watching this video i hope you got something about color grading cinematic feelings see you guys on next tutorial this is director came a bit faster that's why i don't want to waste a lot of time today see you on next spot